if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 18 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We start with the game away from home against Birmingham City. We are, well, we were pretty close to top of the table until we had to simulate the game against Ipswich that we weren't selected for and we lost by two goals to one. So a win against Birmingham and then if we can get a win, a win against Cardiff as well, who, as you can tell from the league table, are the team that are top right now then we'd be right back in the title mix, let alone the automatic promotion fight. But we have to win against Birmingham to stand a chance of closing the gap to Cardiff at the top. Birmingham are currently down in 10th, not having the worst of seasons. There are full 10 points behind us, though, so hopefully we can have a decent game here and we'll be, fingers crossed, selected for the game against Cardiff. If we're not, I'd be pretty concerned about the result we're going to get and we'll play against Blackburn in the game after that. I really don't know what's going to happen, but we'll try our best against Birmingham and then just take it from there. Drop the video a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further videos, and let's go and get three points against Birmingham. Bent plays it into my path, we'll poke it forward looking to Butterfield. I'm here still in the middle and he plays me in and we'll poke it through looking for Darren Bent. Surely this is going to be 1-0. A great finish over the top of the goalkeeper as Kuzak goes to ground. Darren Bent plays it over the top of him. We get an accomplishment for a through ball assist. Derby have a 1-0 lead. We've got free kick. Bradley Johnson to take. Oh, he's gone short. I wasn't expecting that. Here's Jacob Butterfield into Navarro. He's going to get it to me. I could go for a shot. There's not really the angle for it. Oh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? I see Andy Vyman. We'll give it to him. And he might actually come back to me. No, he's going to take the shot and it probably was going to cause the keeper some problems until it was deflected off the defender's leg straight at him. Here's David Davis looking for a way through. Cottrell spins the defender well, but there's a lot of white shirts in front of him. He's nutmegged one of them, and he's going to pick himself up a free kick in a dangerous position, actually. This could cause us some real problems here. Who's going to take it? It's going to be Cottrell himself. He's going to shoot. He is. He's on target. It's a fantastic free kick. Birmingham City back on level terms eight minutes into the second half. The first goal was pretty simple for us, but that one was something special from Cottrell. Wonderful set piece. Nice ball to Johnson down the line from Navarro to me as well. Oh, that's a nice little step over to beat the defender. And we're in the box. Do we shoot? No, I'm going to look for Darren Bent. Oh, it's actually Andy Vyman, and he's fired it into the back of the net. I've run around the back of the net. He's come to celebrate with me. He's trying to celebrate with me. I'm trying to celebrate with him. But he ran at me, pointing and was like, yes, it was all you. And my guy was too busy trying to run away in a different direction. I was looking for Darren Bent, but picks out Andy Vyman. I'll tell you what. Keeper stood no chance there. He was going to his right and Vyman fired it quickly to his left. Fantastic finish. We are immediately back in front after their, to be fair, stunning free kick. Navarro. Lovely ball down the line to me. Now Darren Bent is in the middle and we'll look for him. And who's going to get there first? It's Darren Bent, but he heads wide. Oh, so close to a third goal. Great cross, as far as I'm concerned, if I do say so myself. And Bent was only a couple of inches from getting that into the bottom corner. Thorn to Johnson to Butterfield and we're in now now do I go solo or do I play in Darren Bent I'm going to have to play in Bent surely for three Bent's done it again Darren please your head wide I put that on a plate for you to score a third and you miss again the first time I played him through in the first half he buried it this time arguably an easier chance and he's put it wide Gleason through the gap picked off by Thorn and into Chris Martin. I'm going to make the run here. Now, can he play me through? That's the question. Well, he's running for the corner. No. Cross here into the middle. I want a goal. Oh, never mind. Cadiz tackles him. Well, he's won it back. I'll call for the cross. He's dug it out. We might still score. Kuzak. Oh, no, I'm injured. No. Don't tell me I've gone, I've gone to try and score a goal at the last to stop us from holding it in the corner. My guy's gone down and stayed down. Is that going... He's still down. He's getting up. I don't know whether we're actually going to be out for a while or... What's going to happen there? Oh, please don't be injured. We get 75 or 75 chances created. We're getting a couple of accomplishments here. We've got two assists there for our team's two goals. Very, very pleased with that. Birmingham with a goal from their only shot on the game. I'm pr pretty sure they had more than that one free kick shot, though. Oh, please don't be injured. Please don't be injured. Please. How did Cardiff get on? Th oh, never mind. Before I thought about it. We're not injured. I don't think we haven't had an email. We're fine. 
Okay, great. Right, let's train. And hopefully we might get a little bit closer to 75 rated. No, long shots goes up one, but not any closer to 75 rated. Never mind. We'll just have to... Well, we got a couple of accomplishments in that game, which knocked us a little bit closer to 75 rated. We haven't been selected against Cardiff. That was what I was worrying about. Actually, I need to turn on... I need to turn on the second win trait. Maybe that might have helped us actually be fit for the game against uh, Cardiff. That's a shame. I forgot about that. Never mind. We'll play the game against Cardiff. Please win. You always lose whenever I simulate games or are forced to simulate games. But please, this time, please win. Cardiff are top. We're chasing them. Or they were top. I didn't see how they got on in the previous weekday. But Cardiff are above us. We're chasing them. Please, uh, please just don't lose. I'd be, f I'd be completely fine with a nil-nil. Please just don't lose. No! O'Keefe scores just before half time. And they're 2-0 up. Sadi gets the second. Come on, Derby, please. Please don't do this to me every time I'm not involved. You fail miserably. Ten minutes to go. We're going to get a defeat to Cardiff. God damn it. Every time we're not involved, we lose. So frustrating. So frustrating. Never mind. Blackburn in the FA Cup. Up next. Early cross. Looking for the man in the middle. Headed clear. And Bradley Johnson will get it to me. And Darren Bent's making a good run. Oh, but he just changed back centrally. But he's stolen it off the defender. And he's in. Darren Bent for 1-0. Oh, side netting. A mistake from the defender. Wasn't the best of balls for myself, to be fair. But still, Darren Bent made the most of the chance, but wasn't quite able to get it into that near post. Jordi Gomez out to Hope Akpan. He's got a runner on the outside in Henley. Henley coming forward. Nice turn. Can you find a teammate? Yes. Strokes inside to Jason Lowe, to Holmberg. Around the corner to Hope Akpan again. At the uh, centre of everything going forward for Blackburn right now, Hope Akpan. I thought he was more of a defensive midfielder, but he likes to push forward in this particular game. Holmberg gets that back to Evans. There's an option for the, the ball through the middle there, but he decided to run around the outside of everybody. And he's still going around the outside. Gets it back to Tommy Spur. Into Hope Akpan. Is he going to shoot? Oh, he's going to throw through a brilliant through ball. And a good save from the goalkeeper. That through ball, by the way. How accurate does that want to be? Absolutely ridiculous. So good from Hope Akpan. He's been really impressive here so far. Hoping that he doesn't continue to do that for the full 90 minutes. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. He's Andy Vyman. Bent's made the run, but Vyman takes his time. Bradley Johnson will use Navarro. Oh, that was actually a pass to me, was it? I thought it was just a heavy first touch. Navarro's going to push forward, though. I am here in support if he needs. But he's still going. And I'm still in the box. I'm still waiting. This is a great run. And... Oh, he's shot! He's hit the post! Wow, the right back. Volley! Oh, George Thorne, if you'd have found the top corner, that would have been spectacular. Unfortunately, well wide again. Accuracy so far in this game, not quite there. Navarro, though, on a great run from right back, very nearly gave us the lead. Sandy Vyman down the left, turns inside nicely. He's got some space to run into, and that makes up more space for Darren Bent. Bent's in the box here. Darren Bent, finish and a half, my man. We take the lead six minutes into the second half. I wasn't sure whether he'd be able to shoot from that sort of range on his left foot and find the target. And he did. And how. Plenty of power behind it. Defender drawn across, which opened up the space to play it in behind. That actually, that extra little turn from Vyman just made the angle even better. And then, to be fair, great hit from Darren Bent. Even bending away from the goalkeeper. I was about to call for it, personally. I'm pretty glad I didn't now, because I probably would have fluffed it up. And then we wouldn't be 1-0 up. But we are. Kamara. Looks for the switch. There's Scherner. He's on the run. Scherner's still going. We are on part the bus, and I hope he's not going to take it to the corner. He's wrapped back around. Here's Kamara. I'm just going to drift him. Kamara's gone for goal, and he's hit the crossbar. Kamara might win the header. No, but that's going to drop to me. And if I can get a good turn in, let's go for a worldie over the top. Oh, Kamara almost sealing it for us in the last couple of minutes with a great effort from the edge of the box that cannons back off the woodwork. Very close to 2-0, and there's less than two minutes less for Blackburn to get an equaliser. Jordi Gomez. There's a runner in front of him, but he's turned inside. There's some space there to run into. Grant Hanley gets it out wide. It's Tommy Spur, who draws a great save out of Scott Carson. That could be the save, probably will be the save, that sees us through to the next round of the FA Cup. Massive, massive save there from Scott Carson after a great shot from Tommy Spur. Oh, God. That was risky. Oh, the final whistle goes, though. Thank the Lord, because I thought they were going to get a penalty there as the man went in for the challenge. They definitely got the corner, but the referee decided to bring things to a close before they could take it. A 1-0 win away from home at Ewood Park sees us through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. We're having a great season domestically. We're also having a decent cup run season two. 
We didn't do that well in the Capital One Cup. We got knocked out in a game that I wasn't involved in, I believe, earlier on in the season. But we're having a decent run here through to the quarters. Who else is there? Southampton, Man United, Fulham, Sunderland. Fulham beat Liverpool, by the way. Uh, Sunderland, West Brom, Bolton or Everton. That will go to a replay. And we're through. And then Villa or Manchester City. Interesting. Well, we'll have to wait and see who we get in the next round of that competition. We'll have a quick train before the end of today's episode, and hopefully we can get closer to 75 rated. We'll see if we can do so. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course, today, and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't to this point. We are getting slightly closer to 75 rated, and hopefully it won't be long before we actually make that jump from a silver ultimate team player to a gold ultimate team player. Up next, the first game of the next episode will be... The derby against Nottingham Forest away from home. Huge, huge game for Derby County. And we are oh, well off the top of the table now. Cardiff, after beating us, have extended their lead over uh, ourselves to a full eight points. We are, though, only a point off the automatic promotion spot in second. So the auto-promotion hunt is still very much on. The playoff hunt is pretty much confirmed considering we are a full seven points ahead of Middlesbrough and in good form. Hopefully, though, we can get closer and maybe look for that second spot. If we do get second, we may consider staying at Derby in the Premier League, considering we've been rather instrumental in getting them there. We'll have to wait and see how the rest of the season plays out. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, like I say. Subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else. And I'll see you next time.